Hi, I'm Vail Fucci, your go-to gear gal for all things photography. So if you like shooting portraits or fashion or headshots or just about anything, you've probably decided that you need to have a large circular light modifier. But which one is the right one for you? I know when I was looking for one for myself, it was overwhelming. I went to Adorama's Glow Easy Lock softbox page to see what they had, and there are so many of them, which is great. I'm spoiled for choice. But at the same time, I'm left going, which is the one I should buy? You have your traditional Octabox. You've got a beauty dish. You have umbrellas, deep umbrellas, parabolic umbrellas, parabolic softboxes, deep parabolic softboxes. Oh my gosh, it is just insane how many different round modifiers there are for your light. The interesting thing is though, that they all do something just a little bit differently. And so that left me going, I really wish I could see exactly what each of those modifiers do on my subject. So I got just about every round modifier that Adorama's Glow line has for their Easy Lock softboxes, because I really like them. They are super easy to put together. They're light and they are easy on my bank account. They are not particularly expensive, but they still are great quality and have great quality of light output. And today I have a model with me. Her name is Annabelle Bennett. You can follow her on Instagram. Her information is down below in the description. And if you are interested in any of the different modifiers we're going to be testing, you can find the links to them right in the description down below from Adorama as well. So let's see all the different creative looks that we're able to produce using these light modifiers so you can choose the one that best fits your purposes. So for this shoot right now, I'm using the 48 inch deep parabolic easy lock softbox. I have it double diffused right now. Now, take off all diffusion. And you can see how the spread of the light is really constricted there. Uh, of exactly the edge of it in our photo of where it's coming. And it's very columnar in this case, it's not getting a spread. To address that, I'm going to move this just a bit more directly on her and raise it a scotch. And there, now that spot's taken out. And we can see just how much more contrasty that look is without all that diffusion on it. Okay, let's move on to our next modifier. Now I've put up the 48 inch Octabox. It's double diffused and I have the deflector plate inside of it. Right now we're going to take out the outer baffle. And now that oh so fun inner baffle. And we can see how that really changes things up. All right. So Carl Taylor was right. When a deep parabolic modifier is diffused and is the exact same size as an octabox that is also diffused, you get the exact same light pattern. You're only going to see a big difference between a deep parabolic modifier and an octabox when you take all the diffusion off. Now I have up the 42 inch Easy Lock Beauty Dish with double diffusion and it has its reflector inside. Bringing around the Beauty Dish more to the front, like in this orientation, is a more traditional use of the Beauty Dish. Looking fantastic. So you can see how the light is coming down directly from above. It's very traditional beauty lighting the way that is. If she ends up holding a reflector, you get a more traditional clamshell look. So the reflector, she's just gonna hold that right underneath and we're just gonna see real quick. There you go, like that on it. So you're gonna have it angled just slightly up to yourself like that, perfect. And we'll just see the effect. Obviously her arms are going to be in a different position here, but that's all right. So we can see how that brings that light underneath her chin there and how she kind of just glows with that. Now let's see how the beauty dish looks when we take the layer of diffusion off. All right. 
Now this is the beauty dish with just one diffuser panel inside. And you can see we get much punchier light now there. Now bear. There we go. Now we have our beauty dish with no diffusion panel whatsoever. Let's see if we bring this around more to the side for traditional of the beauty lighting there. Really see a difference there. And then if we go and bring in our reflector again. Thank you, Annabelle. There we go. Really see a difference there. And now the biggest modifier of them all the 51 inch deep umbrella. I have on it the optional diffusion panel that you can put around it here after you have your light in to make it so that the light doesn't come out through here. It has a drawstring. I'm going to pull this closed and it makes it so it's now an indirect source coming through here. It's similar to a soft box, but let's look and see how it looks. Very, very soft. Now let's see it without the giant diffuser front. So it's interesting to see, it's still pretty soft, even without that diffusion panel. And get ourselves a little bit more of direct light on the front of her as best I can. I'm surprised, our least expensive modifier, and it's really doing quite a great job there. Let's see if we bring that diffuser panel back on and have that from the front. Okay, and now we've got it with the diffusion panel. And bring that up. And this is the 25.5 inch deep parabolic softbox. Now this one has an unusual mount. It is a one that goes with the native Godox mount for the AD300 and AD400 lights. So it's really neat in that you can go without having an S bracket with you. You just have the native little uh, tilt bracket on the base and this mounts right in onto the light. So I thought it was worthwhile throwing into the bunch to see how it performs. I picked out the smallest one because everything else we were doing was with really, really giant lights. And it's neat to see, do you have to have a giant light with you to make it be super soft? Let's see. Currently I have it way up high in the exact same position I had as the other lights. There we go. All right, now let's put it in our traditional beauty dish position. Now because this was smaller than the other ones, most likely if I have this at that type of height, and bring it over here. It's going to be in our shot. Let's see if we can get away with it. If not, we have a piece of gear that works nicely for that. I want that just out of range. Okay. Great. And then if we wanted it to be even more up high like that with the smaller light like this, we have an additional piece that we use. We are gonna sandbag our base so it doesn't tip. And you may be looking at this going, but she has a boomed stand. Why doesn't she boom it? I could boom it, but not everybody is, has the luxury of having a boom at home. And it's nice to see that this little product out there exists that allows you to do this type of thing with just a traditional light stand. I simply place this on here. And this is by Kupo, and it gives me just that little bit of distance that I would need. It's like a mini boom, if you would care to call it so. But it'll be just enough to get it so that I'm able to have this further out and be directly above instead of being at that 45 degree angle on my model to get that straight centered beauty look. See the vast difference there with that? 
I'm gonna bring my reflector up much higher. And that we get even more of that bounce. I've brought that up for us. And there you have that glamorous beauty glow. If you don't have the luxury of having that arc reflector, the simple five in one will do you nicely. And Annabelle will hold this for us for the moment. Thank you, dear. It's even better when you have a, a reflector stand, but and we'll come just a little bit this way, Annabelle. Good. Perfect. And you get that traditional clamshell beauty look that is just so gorgeous and typical that you see on those magazine covers. So at the end of all this, when we compare all these different modifiers, if they're diffused, we see that there's really surprisingly little difference between them. The thing that made the biggest difference is the size of the modifier. So with that smaller parabolic modifier, you end up getting a bit more of that contrast, that poppy look there. And by the time you get all the way up to that larger umbrella, you have very, very soft transitions to shadows going there from uh, the highlights to the shadows. You barely have any shadows to speak of whatsoever. So if you're looking to be, you know, giving more of that chiseled, defined look on the face, but still having it diffused, your best bet is to be using a smaller modifier. Now when we compare the same modifiers, but with no diffusion on them, we do see quite a big difference in the lighting patterns. We'll start with the beauty dish. On that one, this is how a beauty dish is typically used, without a diffusion panel or a diffusion sock over it. You'll still get those beautiful highlights that are coming there, some poppy bits of contrast, but it really gives you just nice soft transitions between those edges there. It's not super harsh light, but it, it gives you a good amount of contrast. With the octa and the parabolic for the 48 inch that's there, this is where you will see a difference as opposed to when we were previously on it of the 48 inch between those two looking absolutely identical when they're diffused. When you have the octa, it's going to be uh, just going a little bit more diffuse than with the parabolic, which is going to be that more columnar look to it there. You still have that softer gradation between the shadows and the highlights there than you do with the beauty dish. And last but not least, you have your 51 inch umbrella, which surprisingly looks almost identical to the way the 51 inch umbrella looks when it's diffused. It has almost no shadows to speak of. And when you have such a large light source as this, that's how you're getting that super, super soft light. I hope this video helped you see how these modifiers work during a real shoot. If you're interested in purchasing any of them from Adorama, there are links to them in the description below. If you enjoyed it, please press like and go ahead and hit that subscribe or the bell button down below so that you'll be able to know when all my new videos come out in the future.